Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the 12th day of July 2022, and our topic for today is Whatsoever Things Are Pure. Let us pray. Our dear Father and our God, the lover of our soul, the keeper of Israel and our own keeper, the one who sustains us and provides for us, our indispensable God, we thank you for your blessings over us. We thank you for your promises that never fail. We thank you for proving yourself faithful over and over again. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you for yet another time that we are set to enjoy communion with you. We ask Lord that you teach us once more by your spirit, help our ears to be inclined to your word and our hearts ready to obey. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalms chapter 24 verse 4. Psalms 24 verse 4 reads, He that hath clean hands, and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sown deceitfully. Psalms chapter number 24 verse 4. Our scripture reading for today is in two parts. The first part is from the book of Psalms chapter 24 from verse 3 to 6, and the second from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Psalms chapter 24 verse 3 to 6 reads, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sown deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Seller. Psalms chapter 24 from verse 3 to 6. The next portion from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 reads, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now to the body of our devotional. Our topic for today once more is whatsoever things are pure. And our Father in the Lord speaks to us today, he says, can be simply defined as being in one form with nothing else mixed in. Revelation chapter 3 verse 16 reads, So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. God is not interested in two-timers. With God, you are either hot or cold. There is no stain in between. Many people think it is okay to live holy and then just commit sin once in a while. God says he will spew you out of his mouth if you are lukewarm. He said he is coming back for a church that has no spots at all according to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 27 which says that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy and without blemish therefore if you think that you can accommodate a little impurity in your heart please think again my daddy wants you to be spotlessly clean completely pure those who will be his bride must have no stain on their garment at all. That means every impure thought must be banished out of your mind. Your mind should only be filled with things that are pure, not things that can stain your garment of holiness. It is only those whose hearts are pure that will see God on the last day. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. When it comes to spiritual matters, if you are for God, be totally sold out to him. And if you are for the devil, be totally sold out to the devil. The Lord said in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. 
Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be as red crimson, they shall be as wool. In the spirit, you are either pure white or pure red. There is no sitting on the fence. Whichever one you wish to be is your choice. However, he advises that you live holy and be white. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are still considering the topic for today, Whatsoever Things Are Pure. This has been a continuation from a series we started about four days ago. On the very first day, we studied the topic, Whatsoever Things Are True, and we learned that only God's promise to us, only whatever he declares in his word concerning us is true. No lies of the enemy, no matter how real they seem to us, should pass for the truth. Whatever God says about us is the truth. Hallelujah. On the second day, we studied the topic, Whatsoever Things Are Honest. And we learned that God delights in honest people. We also learned that honesty is a major factor that will be considered before you are given anything sensitive to handle, both in the kingdom of God and outside. No one hands over treasures to someone who is not first of all tested and trusted and verified to be honest and someone with integrity. We learned also that there is absolutely no situation or condition that is good enough reason for us to become dishonest. Hallelujah. On the third day, which was yesterday, we studied the topic, Whatsoever Things Are Just. And we were made to understand that God delights in being just. God dislikes and personally resists anyone who is unjust. God wants us to be fair to all. He wants everyone to have justice and dislikes taking advantage of people who may be disadvantaged or ignorant. He fights their battle for them. Hallelujah. Today we have the privilege to study the topic, Whatsoever things are pure. And I would like to start on this note. We would read from Revelation chapter 22, verse 11 and 12. It tells us, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Revelation 22 verse 11 and 12. Praise God. From that scripture, you can understand that God does not really have a problem with anyone being unjust. He has no problem with anyone choosing to be unrighteous. He says, let him who is unjust be unjust still. Let he who is filthy be filthy still. Let he who is righteous be righteous still. And he who is holy be holy still. What God actually has a problem with is in being lukewarm, in being neither here nor there. And just like we learn in our devotional today, there is no room for sitting on the fence. With God, it is either you are 100% on his side or you are not. The second verse from the scripture reference we just read tells us, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. So the reward is as our work shall be. We determine what reward we receive, hallelujah. With this in mind, however, it is important for us to note also that our God does not delight in anyone perishing. That is why he tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 that I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, he says, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. As his custom is, he always leaves us with a choice. However, his own intention for us is that we we'll choose life and we will live. If we choose to go against it nonetheless, we will be left with the consequences to deal with. So our topic for today can be seen as God telling us, I have set before you and I desire that you choose purity today. I know that today there are countless things set to distract and to defile you. However, my choice for you is that of purity, if you would heed my instruction. Our Father in the Lord makes us understand in today's devotional that our God is not looking for someone who is in today and out tomorrow. He is not looking for a Christian who would once in a while take a break, hang his salvation boots when he's ready to indulge and then return to pick them. Our garments which we talk about today are not made in such a way that we can put them off and later return for them. They are meant to be spotless. Hallelujah. 
it is important we have at the back of our minds also that the purity we talk about today cuts across purity in our thoughts, purity in our bodies, purity in the words that we speak, purity in our actions. Today the enemy has made it easy to remain defiled yet look very sanctimonious on the outside. The result of that is that we'll have so many people in church who are in the actual fact disconnected from God because of this absence of purity. So he walks on the paths that men do not see. He defiles the heart, defiles the mind, which is our control room. Scripture tells us to keep our hearts with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. The enemy seeks to pollute our hearts from the things we see, the things we hear, and the thoughts we let our hearts dwell upon. These are gates that must be properly manned to ensure that only the right kind of things, pure and wholesome things, are granted access. As a corrupt heart would eventually metamorphose into a corrupt life in no time. At this point, I would like us to bow our heads and pray. We would say, Father, whatever things in me do not bring you glory, whatever it is that is not pure, yet resides in me, by your mercy, let there be expunged today in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine separation. Whatever those things are, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for as many who are struggling and are battling with a double standard life. Ask the Lord today for a once and for all separation in the name of Jesus. Cry unto the Lord and say, Father, whatever it is that makes us delight in little sins. The scripture refers to them as those things that do easily beset us. Those things that are a stumbling block to our spiritual progress. Say, Father, by your mercy today, let your fire consume them in the name of Jesus. Let our appetite be transformed. Let us desire only you in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for his purifying fire that would sweep through us and cleanse everything that is impure in our lives in the name of Jesus. Let spotted garments be made white again to the glory of our God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we are grateful for your word today again. Our faithful Father, the one who delights in us, we say thank you. We ask today for the grace to feed upon that which is pure alone. Help us to make that choice for you and to remain steadfast to it all the days of our lives. Help us that there will be no more going back. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's devotional that tells us only think pure thoughts. We receive the grace today to think and to dwell upon only pure thoughts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Psalms chapter 110 down to chapter 112. Hallelujah. We are also thanking and appreciating you for joining us today again. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 9861-1226. You can also do well to share, to like, and to subscribe to this. God bless you. As you go forth today, receive the grace to dwell upon that which is pure alone in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 14 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Nearer My God to Thee. Have a blessed and fruitful day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. Bye for now.
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.